Good morning, everyone. This is Nana Heron for Tangled Time Arts, and I'm a certified Sun Tangle teacher. And today I'm excited uh, to be doing a demo on tendrils. Uh, it's week 32 of our Tangle of the Week. And I've actually been wanting to take a look at pendrels since spring, and we just never got around to it. So today's the day. Pendrels were inspired by grapevines, and it's really a fun, organic, botanical type of tangle to do. And at the end, you'll have the option to add some color, as little or as much as you'd like. All you really need for this project are the basic materials. So we have a black pen, a number two pencil, and a tortillon. And we also have white paper. I'm using a, a Zentangle tile, but you can use computer paper or a sketchbook. Um, you can even use different colors of paper if you'd like. But since we're adding color, uh, white is probably a good idea. I also have... Uh, a basic set of the Crayola colored pencils, um, and they run anywhere from a dollar to three dollars at your local store, so they're very affordable. And then I also have some gel pens, which are optional, um, and sometimes I just like to add a little bit of, of sparkle. Um, and these I found at Target, um, and and I like them a lot. Um, so far, they've they've been really awesome to work with. All right, pendrils. So we are just going to start right away with our black pen. We are gonna use the entire area of our tile. So I'm just gonna start, just dive in and start at the corner. I'm just gonna make a curve. Um, you could add a little wave to it if you'd like, um, but I'm just making a curve and then I'm going to aura that curve like that. Um, it's not too wide, maybe a couple of millimeters, but like, um, oh gosh, a quarter of an inch. And then at the top of that, we're going to make a curve. We're just going to put like a little cap on that. Almost like an oval, but um, you don't want to go over your stem. And then ink in that area there and that area there, um, the top and the bottom. And then I'm going to rotate my tile just a little bit. And this is the fun part. Um, if you've ever looked at grapevines, they have these little, um, almost like knots in them. And in order to do that, we just, we make like a, a, a curve there, but then we curve, loop back, and then we loop back again. So it's almost like a, a backwards S shape, um, but it's a curve and a loop and a loop. So we have our little knot, and then from there, we add more stems, and you can go whichever way you want. I am going to add a stem going this way, and I'm going to put a little curve in that. And then I'm going to add another stem. Let's see, I think I'll just go this way. And I like to work with twos, but you could add a third if you'd like. So then for each of those little stem areas, we put our caps on, ink that in, and then put the, the little knots on the ends. So a curve and a loop and a loop, all right? And then from here, we add more stems. Your stems can be straighter or curvier than mine. I do like to make mine curvy. But it's a very organic type of tangle because I'm kind of just following my heart as to which direction the stems are going. 
and they kind of go their their own way to kind of fill in the area that's that's available to them. Some people do like to uh, pencil in a like a grid for the stems to follow, but I feel like that defeats the purpose of um, an organic type of tangle, but to each their own. And then we're just gonna do the loop, curve in the loops on each of these ends. Like that. And then we kind of just keep going. I think I'm going to come off of this area here. And like I said, I, I kind of prefer to work in groups of twos, but you could if you'd like, you could add a third in there. Or you can do a single one to keep things different. And then here we're going to kind of go off the page a little bit or off the sheet of paper. And this is just going to go completely off like that. And back down here. So we went this way. This is where it gets interesting, where we can add in a little bit of what we learned with Hollabaugh. So we're going to come off of this one, and when, when we meet another one, we're going to lift our pen, carry it over to the other side, and keep going as far as you want. So we have that Hollabaugh effect there. And I'm going to do, um, I'm going to fit in a third one here just to demonstrate that you can add, you can do them in threes. I think it really just depends on how much uh, space you have and what you're kind of looking for. All right, so with this one, I think it's time for this to just go off the tile. And then I'm going to kind of, this one's getting kind of thin, so it's kind of like the end of my grapevine, and I'm just going to Finish that off like that. Kind of like it's growing. And then I think I'm going to move back up to the top here. I'm always kind of looking a little bit ahead to see where we're going with this because it, it does have a flow of its own, a mind of its own, just kind of grows. And these are going to go off the tile as well. Put my little cap on this one. My curve and loops.
got another one with the Allabot effect here. And I think we'll just kind of finish that off without going off the page. And I want to add another one here. So with these, it, what I would really say is just follow your heart as far as letting the tangle kind of lead you. We have this one here, and I think on this one, let's see, we could just continue like that. So I'm kind of at the end just making these um, kind of curve off, and we're going to go back in with our gel pen, or if you don't have a gel pen, you can just do, do this with your ink pen with these. Um, we're later going to go in and just, just make these like little tendrils, okay? I have a couple more areas to finish here. And I think I've got this one and this one to take a look at. I'm going to leave those with the knots on the end for now. All right, now let's take another look at here and I'm going to add another stem down here because I just feel like it's a little empty. Oh, I'm not on that. All right, once we have our pendrels in, I like to add some leaves. Now there's different styles of leaves that, that you could, could add. And I like to just do um, simple leaves that are just something I've drawn since I was a kid. And that's where you just kind of tuck in a leaf shape. And I just like to put those in at the knots. This is where I'm combining a tangle with just an element of drawing. If you would, however, like to use an official tangle, you could add in poke leaf. And to do that, you make a, a curve, another curve for a stem, put on a little smile, and then you're just gonna make a heart shape for your for your little leaves. So I'll put in a couple of those um, again, just as kind of like a demonstration. So you have your your choice of what kind of leaves you'd like to use. You can either go with the poke leaf 
or you can just go with um, these basic, very elementary types of leaves. And since I have a couple of poke leaves here, I'll put another one here. Like that. But for the most part, I really like to just do basic leaves. And again, it's just a matter of kind of following your heart. and putting them in where you would like to see them. And it's getting a little crowded, so I think I'm going to leave it mostly at that. I could tuck another one in here. And put one in on the other side. And let's see. We could do one here, kind of hollow ball style, tuck that in behind. All right, so we have plenty of leaves, and I'll tuck another one in here. And another thing that I like to do with pendrels, which is kind of an, an extra step, but something that I like to do is I like to go back in when I have it all um, inked in the way I like it. I like to go back in and I like to add a line inside the stems. And it just really makes it seem like more of a vine once you do that. And for some of these on the end work, it's really thin. You don't, you probably don't need to do that. And it definitely adds this really nice detail I think we have all of them. So um, it definitely makes it look much more like a vine once you add that line down down roughly the center of each. Um, but I, I don't get too technical about it. I just put them in and kind of let that flow as well. All right, so now I am going to add a little bit of color before we work on our additional tendrils. So for this, we only need a few colors. So I have um, the brown and the dark green and the lighter green from the Crayola. And I just like to lightly add color to these vine areas. And I'm going with brown for my vines, but you might choose, you actually might choose green. But I'm just going with brown. And I'm not worried about the lines 
inside at this point. I'm just adding a light layer of brown inside each stem. And the ends I'm going to leave uh, kind of empty right now. The ends are still growing, so I'm going to actually go in with the green on those. At least in my mind, the ends are still growing. Maybe you've decided they've stopped growing for the year and you'd like them brown. That's fine. And then I go back and I, I choose uh, one side and I go back a little darker on one half of the vine. So I'm kind of doing the bottom or the right hand side of each vine. And it just gives it a little more dimension going in and making one side a little darker. I try to stay consistent. So if I chose the bottom, I try to stay mostly on the bottom or the right hand side. If I had chosen the top or the left hand side, I would do that all the way through. This one's pretty thin, but we can get a little bit in there. Okay. I think we got all of that. And then I go through and with the knots, I kind of color those in very dark. So for each one of those, I'm adding a lot of pressure and I am coloring those in. Add a little color there. All right, and once we have that filled in, then we can go in with our, I'm just gonna go in with a lighter green actually. And put in a nice layer of green. 
for this project, I'm just adding actually a touch of color. I'm not, I'm not going in with a lot of color. It's just for a little bit of interest. And we can add a little green to these ends too. And we have our poke leaves and we can also add green to that. So it's really just Again, your choice if you wanted all poke leaves throughout or if you wanted this type throughout. I was just trying to demonstrate the different types of leaves that you could use. That's why mine has two different types. All right. And then you can go back in and we didn't do shading with graphite yet. We're just adding a little interest with our colored pencil. And we can add a little bit here on our poke leaves if that's what you chose. You can just add a little bit. All right, so now that we have that and before we add any additional tendrils, we are gonna do a little bit of shading. And I like to shade kind of in these, um, valley areas here just adds a little bit of interest Again, you can add as much or as little shading as you'd like. Like that. And we'll take our tortilla on. And we'll just blend that out. All right, yeah, a little shading in there. And sometimes even if you didn't uh, use the pencil to put the graphite on, if you have enough graphite on your tortilla and you can just add it in like that. And often that's that's plenty, that's all you need. All right. It looks pretty good. Now we are going to um, take our gel pens. If you do not have gel pens, you can follow along with your black pen. Um, it looks just as well. So if you're using your black pen, you're gonna have more tendrils like these, but in different areas. So you can totally use your black pen. Um, I am actually going to use two different gel pens. I have kind of um, 
oh, an orange coppery one and a green one. So I'm going to use the, the more orange type one on these older areas here. And I am just, instead of the black pen, I'm just adding in some tendrils um, with this kind of coppery looking, coppery shade. Um, and it's just a very random type of uh, movement. So kind of a squiggle, a loop or two and more squiggles, okay? You could actually do a squiggle and a loop and a loop. And right now I'm just looking for areas that are kind of gonna be attached to the, the older vines. that and you can add as many or as few as you like um i love vines so i'm just trying to fill them in and now that i'm getting kind of to, to the end where we have these um, new growth areas i'm going to switch to my green metallic and again, you can do this with your black pen. You can just add them on. I have an area here where I didn't really do any inking, which is fine because I can come in and just add some. like that and then I look th back through just to make sure everything's kind of covered like that so you can choose whether you want two different colors of tendrils or if you want to do it all in black um, those are all options you can you can choose um, and I do like sometimes I'll just do them all in black which I, I really, that's the original way. And I really um, enjoy doing that. But sometimes I like to demonstrate using other materials. And once we have that done, we're going to go back in with our, our pencil. Oh, you know what? I'm going to add one more area. I'm going to add some here. All right, we're gonna add graphite along the edge here and then blend that out. And be careful if you are working with the gel pens because they can take a little bit longer to dry and you don't wanna smear that. So I'm just adding some graphite along the edge because we did not leave any white space. All right, once you feel like you have enough graphite down, then you can take your tortillon and blend that as well.
All right. And then there we have it. We have our pendrils with some leaves or poke leaves, if you chose. I'm going to put my initials on here and I'm just going to tuck them down in, in this corner here. You might want to work it into your pendrils. And then I'm going to turn this over. I always like to put my name and the date, which it's the ninth already. And this is our weekly tangle. It's week 32. So we took a look at pendrils. I spell it with one L, but I've seen it with two. Um, and for some of you, you also did um, poke leaf um, or uh, I'm just going to call it a generic <laughs> leaf. So I don't know which one you chose or maybe you did both. This is an official tangle and this is just me drawing leaves. Um, but pendrils was our main focus for week 32. So we have this very cute organic type of tangle that you can combine um, with different flowers or other types of organic elements. And it looks really cute. It also is great for filling in um, large spaces. So if you have a large space that you want to fill in, if you're working on a larger sheet of, of paper, then this is a great one to, to turn to. Um, because you can fill a space pretty quickly and then you can add color or not. You can leave it black and white as well. Um, and your vines, again, your vines could be green instead of brown. So you have a lot of options here. Um, have fun with it. Play with it. Uh, make it your own. Let me know how it goes. And I hope I hope you had fun today. I know I enjoyed my time with you today. And I'm looking forward to, to, to next week. Thank you for joining me. Um, you guys are doing an awesome job. And I hope you have um, an, an awesome weekend and an awesome, an awesome time. And remember, just have fun. And I love you guys. Have a great day. Bye.